hello 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 welcome to my youtube channel daughters of hadessa my name is gail today let's have a conversation about self acceptance do you know that you can be a christian and forgive everybody else and not forgive yourself when the bible says for us to forgive everybody so that God will forgive us. We are included in that everybody. And me being a Christian, it were two things that I had to do to get over feeling guilty about things in my past, things that I could never change, about my issue with me, 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 being a queen baby, I want, I'm the queen, treat me like a queen, I'm the baby, treat me like a baby, pamper me, doll me, treat me the way I want to be treated. Self-acceptance is selfishness when you deal with forgiving yourself because you're so focused on you that you don't focus on purpose you don't focus on who God has called you to be you don't focus on who you are now the new creature in Christ if any man be in Christ he is a new creature that inclu includes all of us we are new creatures in Christ, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Self-acceptance. We have some deep-rooted issues. Things that happened to us when we were younger. When people called us names. Said things about us. Did things to us. We took all of that in and it affected our self-acceptance. What somebody else did to us, denied us, rejected us, abandoned us, hurt us, causes us to deal with self-rejection. Somebody passed away. I never got a chance to say I was sorry. I never got a chance to ask them to forgive me. I never got a chance to deal with this issue. They never got a chance to see me sane. They never got a chance to see me sober. They never got a chance to see me in my right mind. I beat myself up about the things that they never got a chance to see. Somebody hurt me when I was a little kid. The way he hurt me, there's no way that I could be of any value. There is no way that I could have self-worth. I'll look at you. I'll envy you. I want to be you. I want to be like you. Because I can't accept the beauty that is in me. We come to church, we get dressed, we are fine from head to toe, well dressed, we lift our hands, we are Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power, and the whole time we're wearing a mask. Because my self-acceptance is in the basement. I don't accept myself, I don't forgive myself I don't believe that I can be any more than who I am be anywhere greater than where I am and it shows in where we are and when I'm talking to you I'm talking to me too my self acceptance had to come through Jesus Christ 
because I beat myself up for a long time about my past, things I did not know. I was heated with my mother because I heard about rich dad, poor dad, and all these thinking grow rich and all of this stuff that was out. And I had dreams to be a millionaire one day. Why didn't somebody tell me that money was energy, the value of money, how to balance my checkbook? The school never told me any of this, so I had an attitude because it was about me, me, me. Mommy, why didn't you teach me? Why didn't you tell me? Me, me, me. Self-acceptance is not only rooted in our selfishness, but it's also in our ego. Oh, you hurt my feelings. You can do the same thing to somebody else but when it comes back to you your ego is damaged oh it's bruised oh I can't get over this you talk about everybody and then when it comes back around to you your ego is hurt and crushed after you don't talk about everybody else sweetie seriously Self-acceptance comes in the fact we are selfish, we wear a mask because we don't want to deal with accepting ourselves, so we rather look like I love myself, I accept myself, I don't know what you're talking about. That is not me. And then we get home, pull the mask off. We are stressed. We are depressed. Our lives don't measure up. I don't look like everybody else. I'm not getting the blessing that everybody else is getting. Because my self-acceptance, my identity, who I am in Christ... It's all a front because one, I truly don't believe what the Bible says about me. So two, I receive, I refuse to receive that this blessing could happen for me. Let's talk about the woman at the well. Girlfriend, John chapter four. The woman at the well had five husbands. Bible doesn't say what happened to them. Only the fact that she had five husbands. And the man that she was now living with was not hers. Whose was he? Was he somebody else's husband? Was he a boyfriend? We don't know what happened to the other five husbands and how she got to the boyfriend status. But the women, you don't hear anything about the women of the day. When you read the commentaries, the commentaries will tell you that she went to the well around the time that she went to the well because she wanted to avoid going when the other women went. She was scandal. She was scandalous. They talked about her. They ran her name through the river, through the muds. Because she done had five husbands. And you know there's some of them little chitty chatty little bitter, bitter bitties. They probably was jealous of the fact that she had more than one husband. And they were still stuck with Mr. Grinch. <laughs> That they were dealing with. Well anywho. Self acceptance. The woman at the well. She could have. Allowed. What the women said about her. And who's to say she didn't. After having five husbands. What's wrong with me? Did they all die? She probably said, Am I killing these men? Am I taboo? Is there something wrong with me? Am I like one of the X-Men? Like everybody think that I touch, it dies? Am I a black widow? 
You know, she could have really beat herself up in her self-acceptance instead of her accepting herself for who she was. She could have had all kind of things going on. The men probably left her. I don't want you. Left her and married somebody else. That's another thing. Self-acceptance. What's wrong with me? Why they don't stay with me? Whatever the issue was, the Bible does not tell us exactly what that issue was but it tells us she had five husbands the one that she was with was not hers until she came in contact with Jesus self acceptance comes in us recognizing and realizing that it is not in our power to do anything to accept ourselves on our own confidence and boldness comes in our healing through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ now I'm not saying if you have addiction issues which we all have addiction issues it may not be drugs yours may be sex yours may be chocolate yours may be food we have different issues. Some people go shopping and know they don't have the money, but you want to buy all of this stuff. You're addicted. So in our addictions, we have other programs that we can tap into because we are building ourselves back up. Addiction or not. What has been torn down, the rejection, the abandonment, who left me, who died, who went and got married on me? Who had sex with my best friend? Who stole my money? Who did this? Who did that? Why did they take it from me? Why did this happen to me? What's going on with me that people keep doing this to me? Am I cursed? What's going on with my life? It just seems like everything is just so negative. You don't have self-acceptance. And that self-acceptance comes in to play. We always feel like the victim. I'm either holding on to my guilt or I am the victim. It happened to me. It hurt me. My ego is ripped, is bruised because you did this to me. The self-acceptance when Jesus encountered the woman at the well I don't know what issues she was dealing with before they had a conversation. But one thing I will give Sister Girl props for, she was not in denial when Jesus said to her, go and call your husband. She could have said, who is you? to tell me you know I ain't got no husband and if you don't know it's scandalous it's all around the community I'm quite sure you know that I don't have no husband do not come at me sideways and at this well trying to talk to me or whatever no she owned up to the fact yes I had five husbands yes this brother I got laying at home waiting for me he ain't mine but I met Jesus. The conversation. We have to come to him. Lay from the core. The things that are bothering us. Take that mask off. Become so real with Jesus. That not only do we get to know who we are. But we truly come to a place where we believe who we are. And whose we are. And when I began to put those two things together in self-acceptance. Recognizing that there was nothing that I could do to change my past. There was no way I could go back and undo what I had already did. And that it was just a trick of the enemy trying to keep my mind back in the past. In a place where I had no control. To go back over and try to erase that, that's impossible. So when I realized who I am 
and whose I am, you can call me conceited, confident, or whatever you want to. But when it comes to knowing who I am in Christ, honey, you can't tell me nothing. Self-acceptance is not easy when we've been broken down. But we have to get built back up. The woman at the well, her conversation with Jesus was not surfaced. It was deep. In the same way, the women may have broke her down. The men may have broke her down. She may have been broken down being that this was the sixth relationship that she was in. But sister girl, after her encounter with Jesus... Honey, she was <laughs> gun ho. Nobody ain't going to tell me nothing. I'm going to tell the world about this man named Jesus. I mean, her confidence was went from zero to a hundred real quick after that one encounter with Jesus. Now, it doesn't mean that our encounter may be just one, but we can be like the unjust judge, the widow who went to the unjust judge. And she kept going over and over and over. It may not happen for you overnight. It didn't happen for me overnight. My deliverance took place. I had to take abandonment issues. I had to take rejection. I had to take fear. I had to take people pleasing. I had to take so many different layers, but I took them one at a time. I wasn't ashamed. I wasn't embarrassed when I needed to cry out. I didn't care if I was in the middle of the church service. The only person standing up with my hands raised crying from the depths of my soul because I wanted to be healed and set free. I didn't care what May May, JJ or anybody else was saying to me on the next pew about me on the next pew because I needed my liberty and I got it and self-acceptance came to me in the form of knowing who I am it wasn't about what I did in my past it wasn't about me it wasn't about my ego it was about me picking up my cross being grateful for all that Christ did for me seeing my purpose and running in confidence in that thing the woman at the well left her water pot left everything behind went into the city and told the people come see a man I say to you deal with your issues go to Jesus real go to him raw drop them water pots drink from the well hear what Jesus is saying and when you get to a place of confidence and you know that God is calling you to be someplace to do something drop them water pots be about your father's business but first deal with you this is Gail daughters of Odessa talk about self-acceptance have a blessed and prosperous day